Alrighty guys, so today we're also going to talk about uh, how to build a profitable sports book, how to build a profitable uh, model, uh, essentially a business model. First thing to, the first concept is that when you think about markets, right, and we think about um, sports in general, you, you have to think of it not as wanting your favorite team to win, right? Confirmation bias, which is the enemy of, you know, profitability in, in the trading world. You have to think of sports, the sports books, as um, as a financial market itself. So, if we take a look at the risk to reward, the odds that something's going to happen, right? All we're doing is just basic math, just basic counting. Um, so, this is an example of one of the ways that I have made money on soccer. Um, you know, doing uh, just risk to reward and taking a look at the odds. So, if we take a look at our our profit table here, um, if you have a one to one odd. Odds, uh, anything that's a winner 20% or less, not going to be profitable, 30%, 40% not profitable. Your break-even, break-even percentage is obviously on a one-to-one -one risk, risk to reward has to be, um, you know, has to be that 50% that mark. You're profitable if you hit 60% of your, your trades at a risk of risk to reward of one-to-one. -one. Whereas the way that I, I take a look at it is... Uh, I like those five, those five to one odds, maybe three to one. Um, what I what I do in soccer and hockey and, and other you know, a couple other sports, if there's a three way bet and there's um, the possibility of a draw, and you can see the um, the odds here are like five and a quarter, right? Four four point four. So for every dollar that you risk, you would get five dollars and twenty five cents back, or four dollars and forty cents back. $2.22 back, right? So you have to figure out what percentage of the time does one of these three outcomes happen and do the math based on that. So for me, it's a simple, anything that pays over three to three to one, so anything that's you know, 3.1, 3.2, and has a 30% win rate is gonna be a profitable system, right? So that's all I do in, in you know, a three-way bet soccer, hockey. Uh, I made a bunch of money on uh, cricket, of all things, East India versus Pakistan a while back. That was pretty interesting. They allowed for a draw bet, and it never draws uh, cricket. So I just arbitraged both sides. Um, whoever won didn't matter, and I can't even remember who won, but I made money on it. So um, uh, that that's it in, in a nutshell. Uh, taking a look at the risk to reward, so five to one, four to one, you know, you want to get above that break even, figuring out which market is going to be best for you, uh, what what the odds are that, you know, the home team, for example, how often does the home team win? If it's in, during that, that time that the home team wins, let's say it's, you know, 30%, right? So you have to choose the odds of at least three to one for you to be profitable in that. If uh, they win 40% of the time, at home, great. Then you're, you know, you make more money. So for me, this is kind of my, you know, my sweet spot. Um, some days, you know, soccer is one of those things where some days you're, um, <laughs> I think the worst day I had was 21%. And then yesterday I had 40, 41% of my stuff won. So I, you know, I bet over three, over three to one, it was three and my average was three and a half to one. Right, so I made money because 47% of the, the things that I bet on were draws. Um, I'm sorry, the draws were the um, the outcome, and for whatever reason, 40% was 47% was uh, was the way that it went yesterday. That was my highest uh, percentage day. Like I said, the lowest was 21. Not my favorite day on the planet, but you know, overall, um, and if you if you look at the stats from, I mean, you can just go back through years of data. And I've done this, you know, I, I actually count it and, you know, you print them out, you count, okay, which ones are which. Ones are which. Uh, and you can figure out there's different leagues that have better odds and a higher success rate of either a draw or the home team wins, something like that. So that is um, how to create a successful sports book strategy as a financial market in general. There's 50 different other ways to do it. You can do parlays. You can, there's, there's just all sorts of ways to, to do it. But this is what's worked for me, and I uh, hope this uh, helps you guys make some money.